What's going on everybody? I'm YouTube's Propy JN. Welcome to Afterlife, the story of a father. Now before we get into this, I do need to make a disclaimer. Uh, from what I've read, this game is very heavy, deals with very heavy issues. So if you're not prepared for that today, 100% click off the video. You don't have to watch it. Also, this is a three hour game. Now, I'm not going to be doing the whole thing in one sitting, obviously. I think I'm going to break it up into hour chunks. So, an hour to around an hour today. Um, and then. <coughs> sorry. And another couple episodes to come. Now, I'm probably going to cough a lot through this. I'm still pretty sick. But um, I wanted to get in and check it out. It looked fun. So, the premise of it is that you are a father who has recently died, and you come back to Earth. There's four parts. You come back to Earth. Recalling thoughts and you kind of see how you're remembered by your family after you died when I lived I provided for everything but death Okay Every time I feel like I should put subtitles on I didn't want to talk. It's just If there is subtitles, I didn't actually check that my bad This guy does not seem okay. Okay. Come on. You okay, buddy? Not just walk today, can I? Come on. Oh shit! I, I. Oh god. Okay. That's. Uh, I'm guessing that's that's how he died in a car accident. It's gonna be a weird game. It's gonna be a weird experience, I think. What? what is this? What is this? Oh, I don't need what to read is this it. Place? Anyone? Hello? Hello? Am I controlling it? You've died, my friend. What? Whoa. What happened? What? Where am I? Good question. Well, you died. It seems I've been sudden, seeing you're this surprised. I'm. I'm dead? Yes, but don't think too much of it. People come and go all the time. You did live a wonderful life, though. Did I die? Shana, how is she? My family, how's my family? They're mm. fine. The news haven't reached them yet uh. at that time. I'm sure they will mourn over you. That's well, sad. What happens now? Do, do I go to heaven or, or what's the deal? Fair question. See, that's the thing, Rick. Rick. That's what they called you in that time, right? Yeah, that, that's me, yeah. You can't go onward right now. Okay. You see, you're not supposed to be here yet, Rick. I was expecting you to arrive in 12 years. Wow. Not today. Something must have happened to your body. 12 years? What do you mean by that? You had a planned time? That's what we agreed upon back in the day. But that's not important now. You're here now, and it seems your body is no <coughs> longer usable. <coughs> I don't think you can use it anymore. It's just right. a vessel without a house. What do you mean by all this? You're not making any sense. Who are you, anyway? Good question. I'm a friend of yours. A passerby who was stopped for a meet and greet. A new neighbor, so to say. Is that even an answer? You're... You're not making any sense. Let's just agree for now. I don't have a name. Are you fine with that? For now? Sure, well, why not? Alright. I don't have much choice, do I? So... What are we supposed to do? Where am I supposed to go? We don't have too many choices here, Rick. Come find me here in the middle. And we'll figure something out. Okay. He certainly can't stay here. Sure, but... Uh, oh, okay. How how do I move? Part one. Just think about walking like you did on Earth. Oh, God. And you'll move in the most natural way possible. If you think of running, you'll move a little bit faster. 
like shifting up a gear. All right, where All right, am I meant then, to be yeah. going? The tanks, I guess. It's not the moon. Use left mouse button on your stick to move forward. Okay. See the purple one or the white one? Am I going towards the white white or the purple light? Hold both mouse buttons to go faster. Okay. It's sad to think, like, that he had 12 more years before he was meant to be there. That's sad. I feel like this whole game... Use the right mouse button to blink when you're not in conversation. <coughs> Blinking creates a white visible... Okay. Hmm. Find a memory nearby. <coughs> I'm sorry that I'm going to be coughing throughout this and I'm not going to be editing a lot of it. I want to keep the atmosphere of the story kind of going. And if I edit too much, it kind of breaks that up. How's my life then? Yeah. When, when will I see a flash before my eyes? What do you mean? You didn't see it? No. No. <laughs> But I've heard everyone who's been near the event says they see their life pass before their eyes. Yeah. I didn't. I just arrived here. How did people react to my passing? What happened to everyone? How's my daughters, Susan mm. and Sylvie? Can I meet them? Can I meet them here and now? No, not yet. They're not ready yet. You might meet them at some point, but not as Susan and Sylvie as you know them. I see. Wait, what do you mean? The thing you said earlier, you said you didn't see life pass before your eyes. Wait. What yeah. do you mean? Yeah, th that didn't happen to me. Oh, that must be the reason then. Listen, you should be able to witness your life one way or another. That is, if you have the strength and desire for it. Of course I have. I want to see it. <clears throat> I'm sure I forgot more things than I can remember. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's everyone, well, man. That's everyone. That light, I don't remember. I don't yours. remember so much of my think life, of your life. Different parts. And think of people around you. Since there's life left in you, you should be able to visualize memories and environments around you. Aww. I'm not sure how it works. I haven't looked back myself. My life wasn't much of a story, to be honest with you. Everyone's got a story. Sure. Let's do this. So, I'll just go towards the light, yeah? And and start thinking, is that it? How long do I have down there? Will I be able to say goodbye? Will you be mm. there? I don't know. I just said I haven't gone back myself. Also, I can't be tracked into your past as I haven't been in it. True. Go along now. I'll see you here in a bit. I don't know whether this is a good thing, or whether this is just going to make me depressed. Alright, let's go into the light. Recalling thoughts. That just got so intense with the music. Oh my god. Whoa. This isn't in the park. Is it? Wow. Hello. Hello, are you there? Oh, that's right. Yeah. You can't hear me unless I focus on him. So we're just gonna walk through memories? Or we'll float through memories? Use Blink to locate your memories. There's one. Right? 
Trigger memories by flying into them. Okay. Rob. Who's Rob? It's my brother. My little brother, Rob. <laughs> oh, the ladies, man. Rick. Hey, Rick. Hey, where are you off to? To the horse fair in the village. Cool. Sure, everyone's there. Speaking of the fair, look who I met down there. Rick, this is Fiona. Fiona, this is my big brother, Rick. Fiona's dad owns a ton of horses, and we sort of happened to meet back there. You know, you should really try riding. It's sad that it's you can't that get to go through this. But it'll just I mean, it's nice. The longer you keep avoiding it. But it's kind of sad. Maybe you ask Fiona's sister, Shauna, for some help. Oh well. Anyhow, we're off home. I wanted to show Fiona Mum's stallion before she has to head back to her hotel. Oh hey, if you see your dad, you never saw us. Right, brother? Right. Bro code. <coughs> Absolute bro code. <coughs> Jesus. When's, where's my next one? Do I just follow the path? It's kind of... I don't know. I don't know whether I want this when I when I pass. Would you want to have to like go back and relive all your memories? I don't know whether I would. I feel like it would make me very depressed to do that. Because then you kind of have to accept that it's over. There's a memory there. We used to come here all the time. Rob, Shauna. We sat in a bridge so many times. Hmm. That's nice. It'd be interesting if they put like a, um, what was it, last day of June, if you guys remember that game, how like you, you get the memories, but it kind of recreates them and drops these characters down in there for you, like in the world. It would have been interesting if they went that route instead of you just hearing the memories as a bit of a visual element. I mean, I can understand why they probably chose not to, it's probably a lot more cost effective not to do that. Shauna. Just feeling it. Hmm. It's my wife, Shauna. Oh, she became your wife. It's such nice weather today, isn't it? I could stay outside forever on days like this. Just the perfect weather for a picnic, uh -huh. isn't it, Rick? Rick, what do you do? <gasps> yes, yes. Oh, oh you my lord, her, yes, yeah. I will marry you, Rick Denny. Nothing could make me happier right now than spending my life with you. Thank you, Rick. Man, this would be hard You've to made go me back so and do. Happy. I will never, ever forget this feeling. Oh, I'm so happy. This day couldn't get any better than this. Oh, Rick, I love you so much. I love you more than anything in the whole wide world. My dear boyfriend. <laughs> no, my perfect fiance. Get up and kiss me already. <laughs> oh, she seemed lovely. She seemed really nice. Uh, this is what I mean, like, I would not want to... <clears throat> as much as I guess you'd like to say goodbye... I, I feel like it would be too hard for me to go back and do all this. Personally. The park is so quiet with the animals or people. I wonder why I can't see any. Yeah. I wonder how many memories there are, too. Oh, here's another one. 
Shorter. You know, I didn't always believe this day would come. Back in the day, sharing things from my past frightened me. And I often thought they would frighten him even more. I wasn't very proud of it. Because our relationship had so many kilometers in between, I decided to keep most of it. I knew oh, I sorry, I just, I just pressed a button. It just skipped dialogue. Just I'm so sorry. I risk losing him to something silly like distance and unnecessary doubt. I still remember how scared I was to face him. Because, you know, these things from my past might change everything between us. Or so I believed. Okay. Yet after I told him, he simply looked at me, smiled widely and asked, Is this what's been bothering you all this time? From that moment onwards, I just knew I would always be safe around Aww. him. See, these are the moments like... <sighs> I, they're, they're wonderful to go back and see. But I feel like you, he knows that he's never going to go... To be able to get back to see any of these people again. I feel like this would make it so much harder. To accept that you're gone. I don't know. It's an interesting concept though to be able to go back and see everything that you uh that you did in your wife. Kind of like on um Adam like as much as people don't like it, but Adam Sam was like click. Where he gets to go back and kind of see bits and pieces from his past and everything. I mean, it's an interesting concept to be able to see what could happen, I guess. Why is there a massive guitar here that's like a giant sized one? Rob. Rick? Hey, big brother. Hey, man. How, how's it going? I haven't seen you in ages. We should really meet up for a pint and a we catch should. up soon. Should meet up you for that pint. Could come down to my local. Shane has the finest selection of local drafts around. Wonderful stuff. Uh, how's Shauna? Oh, wow, She's you had a baby. She's expecting, right? Yeah, that's great. I uh, wonder how Fiona's doing these days. What? No, I'm not going to call her. I'm with Hannah now. She's my world. Uh, Speaking of that, you did not. Is. Did you fall into that? Hannah, meet my big brother Rick. I haven't seen him in what? Three oh, wow. years now. Should always He's make time for family, dudes. Isn't that great? Should always make yeah, time for family. It's really exciting. Look, we have to run now. There's a new film at the cinema. It was wonderful to see you again. I'll do my best to come by someday, but you do know how things are with me and Mum. It might take a while. Well, see you later. <sighs> take care now. I hate it when families are arguing. I hate that. I'm pretty tight with my family, so it's like... I don't know. We've got that built-in kind of thing, you know what I mean? So... It's like, whatever you're arguing about with your family, it's... Not the be-all and end-all. If you get what I mean. There's more to life than, than a silly argument. Here we go. What's this? Mom? Oh. Is that you? What, really? Oh, my boy Rick, don't you worry about that. I know things used to be tough between us, and I'm sorry about that. Oh. Uh -huh. It was never my intention to have your childhood as rough as it is. Please, don't blame your father for it. It's not his fault what happened to his company. Your father wanted you to grow big and strong like he was. Okay. He needs you to take care of your little brother and help him become whatever he wants to be. <sighs> I think I know what you're feeling. Ever since you were a little boy, you've been living with so many unresolved things. Well, take it from an old lady like your ma. <laughs> Those things can send you down the road. 
They sure can. They make us who we are. They're the things that make each life, each individual, so different. And if anyone's destined for greatness, it's you, son. You Let's will wait. do great things in this world. With your strengths and thoughts, there's only gambler's luck that can push you over. You just have to figure out how to use them, and know that wherever they take you, I'll always be here for you. So go on, Rick. Take uh -huh. your little brother out to that park we saw the other day. Maybe you'll make some new friends while you're there. They seem nice. She seems very nice. It seems like he has a good family dynamic, but it sounds a little like uh, his little brother gets pushed on him quite a bit. So he's had to kind of grow up as the, uh, in a way, like a surrogate parent in a way, I guess you could call it. Which is a rough role, I get that. That's a really rough role to have to do, especially when you're growing up yourself. Oh, here we go. Here's what I'm guessing is the last one. Shauna. You know, honey, people often say that marriage is hard work. Most often, people make that a reality. I don't really understand it. Or more like I can't relate to that statement. That's fair enough. I've never felt. Doesn't have to be your reality. Challenge. Far from it. From the moment you kneeled before me and asked the greatest question in English language, my life became easier and lighter. That's we good. We loved each other since the beginning, but as time passed, we really learned to love each other. She seems so very sweet. So many couples think they're the same, yet they aren't. I know this is more than that. I know it just by seeing others communicate and try to cope with their everyday lives. I'm not saying there hasn't been uphills on the way, but every single one of them felt manageable. Okay. Not even once did I feel that the world would crush over me. That's a Maybe good that's thing. because you've always been there for me. With you, I've always felt strong and confident about myself. You are my safe place. My rock and roots. I mean, that's kind of how you should feel. I, I, I feel that's how you should feel in a Rick. relationship, especially Rick. one that's like that big. Rick. 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 What's oh. happening? Oh, okay. What is this? Whoa. You can't stay out there for that long, you know? It drains your willpower. And if you stay too long, you might lose yourself completely. But I hardly an ending. Was that it for me? I heard all these, all these thoughts and conversations, but I'm not sure how to take it all in at once. Why, why were these parts so important in my life? What makes them more important than anything else? Yeah. How would I know? That's your life, Rick. Your family. I mean, I Do guess. Loved ones. I was gonna say. I think the importance of That's that one family, was right? to uh, kind of be like the importance of so family. What now. Despite time passing differently in here, you still have many years to spend before you can proceed to your next life. You shouldn't have any unresolved matters before going to the light for the last time. I heard it can cause trouble. Yeah, so I, th I feel like that first from that first round was kind of like so establishing the importance of family, and I'm guessing this next one's going to establish the importance of a relationship or something. Like, like a and it's going to go through different parts of his life. So, wait, you're saying now if I enter the light when I'm, I'm out of time and energy, uh, well, I'm still not sure of if, if I want to forget everything and move on, I'll, I'll be in trouble? In layman's terms, yes. You need to make peace with yourself or your new body might not accept your soul. I don't know, me. That's not terrifying. It's simple to me. Right. So there's four parts. Well to this, so that I might do no choice. two in this episode, two in the next one? No choice, but to focus harder. I need to know. I need to know what happens to my family. Off you go, then I'll snap you out right if you stay too long. Okay. Can't lose you this early now, can we? 
Okay, so we're off to see what happened to them after I passed. Is that what we're doing? This is a bag of worms I don't feel like you should mess with. I don't think you should be able to see this kind of stuff if it's a... If it's what I think it's going to be, which is the afterthoughts of like everybody after he died. I don't want to see that in a way, because I don't think that that's his this place. This is well, I still can't believe that Egypt actually bought this place. I can't even count how many times we've come here to spend the weekend. They seem to enjoy the place. <laughs> I uh, hope this is kind. This, uh, can I just say, with all like the red dots and everything on the screen, like, all these little, like, spectrums of him, like, between dimensions, really adds a really cool element to the game. When you're flying through it, it really does. So kudos to the, kudos to the developers on that, that's really cool. Okay. All right, do we start in the in the shed? How do I get into the shed? I mean, I'm a ghost. Can I just go through? Nope. Yes. No. Why not? I'm a g g g g g ghost. Spooky, scary. Here we go. Here's the first spec. Suzanne. Are these his kids now? He's taught, see. <laughs> Remind me of my daughter, Suzanne. Dad. Dad, I don't want to go to the doctor. He's mean to me. <laughs> no. No, 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 no. I don't want to. Aww. I hate you. Ouch. Why do I have to experience that memory? That's a horrible memory. That was an awful memory to have to experience. I hate you. Oh, No, you meant to love me. Can I get in through the chimney? No? Oh, I'm meant to be following the lampposts, I think. Is that what I'm meant to be doing? Right, gotcha. Is that my car? Yep. The music just got sinister. That's my car. Wait. I, I think I remember. I was driving home from Vince's place. We, we had a fight. I, I remember trying to tune the radio in when it okay. got black all of a sudden. That must have been how. That must have been how I died. Okay. Sh Jesus, do we keep going? Am I heading the right way? The wrong way? I don't know. Oh, here we go. Okay. Oh, there's one about the wife. 
Hitler. This must be Sylvie, my eldest daughter. No, I don't want to wake up yet. Daddy, no. Only a few more minutes. Uh-huh. Why should I go anyway? Can't we just stay at home and watch Snow White, Daddy? Please. Hmm. You said you liked it too. And you said that you haven't been to the stables before. Why should we start going today? It's even raining. Horses are so stupid anyway. Ah, uh, the kids logic, Surely man. Someone else can ride them, and we don't have to. Daddy, I don't want to go. I've never even liked horses, so why should I go? This is stupid. I'll go watch Snow White now, whether you're watching it with me or not. Fair enough. It's a weird trip down memory lane. It's like a weird this is your life kind of thing. Oh, which path should I follow? Should I go down here? It's an interesting way to do it, by the way, is have the lampposts be like a guide. Oh, why'd that just glitch? Okay, what's this? Who's this? Anlon. Who's that? It's a dog barking. Oh. Oi. Is that Anlon? Master, welcome home. Your pups are safe. I've guarded well today. Wow. It is simple work. I like simple work. Do you have food for me? Master, a man comes by the house every afternoon. He leaves papers at the door, and he drives away in a big car. Your lady always takes the papers to the kitchen. I do not see them after that. Oh, uh, no, don't tell I'm me like... suspicious. Why would that man come back every day? We should ride a Don't car start ruining later. my wife. Maybe we'll find the suspicious man. Teach him a lesson. Master, I go to guard more. I will keep you all safe. Uh -huh. Okay, so I'm guessing I just met the family dog. Alright, this game's good, but it, it does glitch a little bit and send you on a different trajectory, which is a little annoying. Every time it glitches, it kind of jolts me into a different direction. It's like now I have no idea where I'm meant to be going. I think it was this way. Here we go. Here's another one. There we go. Suzanne. Dad! Dad! Look what I drew! It's me riding a pony at Uncle Rob's stable. Aww. Yes, I want to ride a pony. You promise. You're always too busy to ride a pony with me. Aww. I hate you. Stop saying you Don't hate me. God today. damn it in every memory. God damn kids. Here we go. What's this? Oh my god, is this where the accident happened? What? What just happened?
Here we go. What happened there? I'm just getting car sounds. What the fuck? Is this the path? Alright, we got another pink one. Ah, it's him and his wife. I'm not as strong as I thought I was. I thought I could do this on my own. But three kids alone in a house oh. the size of this is just so difficult. Is this after? I honestly don't know where you gathered all the strength to push on every day. Every morning and all day. I have to pretend that I'm strong. That I can make it. Aww. As soon as the day is over, I can lock myself in our bedroom and quit pretending that I am strong. That is the highlight of my daily routine now. That's so sad. I sit and cry all night long until I fall asleep on a wet pillow. My dearest Rick, because you are gone and that I am here alone, I don't have the strength to be strong. I can't do this without you, Rick. Please come back to me. Please give me a sign so I know you can hear this. I'm begging you, please. Just come wow. back home. Wow. It's got deep and real. <sighs> I'm, with the, I'm with the next one. Oh, there is one up here. I didn't even see this one. To my dad in heaven. Oh. Hi. How are you doing? We haven't talked in a while. This is so silly. We were given a task today at school. We're supposed to write a letter that'll never be read by anyone. Wow. So I decided to send one for you as you aren't here anymore. We're doing fairly well here, given the circumstances. That's good. Sylvie graduated not too long ago and started her bachelor studies at Trinity College. She's become, like, so pretty. You wouldn't recognise your own daughter. <laughs> Mum's fine as well. She spends a lot of time with Vincent these days. They've become, like, best pals good. over the past few I'm months. glad she's moving on. She looks happy. Good. It's what she <sighs> deserves. Simon has moved away some time ago. He got a job somewhere in Dublin and we haven't seen him much at home ever since. Last I heard from him, he had a foreign girlfriend. Good on him. I myself haven't really changed. Well, I grew taller. I'm nearly as tall as mum now, huh? <laughs> I remember how I used to tease mum about her height like every day. And we'd always laugh together watching her chase you out from the living room. Listen, I'm gonna go now. I have other homework to do. Bye, Dan. Aww. It's sad. It's 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 why I I know how I'd feel about this kind of experience. You know what I mean? Cause like those moments, those kind of moments. I don't know if I'd be down to see all those moments. And kind of see all the sadness and mourning with them. I don't know. I think it would make me too too depressed if I was given this opportunity. Okay guys, I've been flying around this area for 20 minutes trying to figure out where the next one is. I don't think there is one. The game might be a little bit bugged. I think we have reached the end of it. Um, We'll continue with part 3 and part 4 in the next episode. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this so far. It's a little bit more of an intense story than I thought it was going to be. But hopefully you guys are enjoying it nonetheless. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to favorite it. Don't forget to subscribe if you have not already guys. Helps me out a lot. Until next time, I'm YouTube's ProPJ and peace out. Do you realize that I
everyone you know someday will die but instead